The news that I was dreading to hear. I figured it could be a reality, and it was. Just weeks after my mother went missing, she was finally discovered. But let's just say, things were not good. They'd found her out in seemingly the middle of nowhere. Cause of death unknown. She's gone. Just like that. After she'd she just returned, after being out of my life for so long, she'd come back and she was gone just like that. We didn't have the greatest relationship. Obviously, growing up, yes, we did, but it slowly faded after the incident that occurred, well, pretty much at the beginning of my career, when I was going into professional sports. Football was the game that I played to get away from those bad memories. And after she came back, well, let's just say I was hoping for a new start, but that's a new start I won't be getting anytime soon. I said my prayers and I said my final goodbyes. It was almost like the gods were sad and crying down on me as the next few weeks, thunderstorms, rain is all we got. That was it. After being reunited, she was taken from me almost instantly. And now, with all this pressure mounting, we have to finish the season with three of the biggest games of my career. And although the La Liga season was coming to an end, and I, I had to be training, I had to be back in Madrid, I just couldn't. I needed a day or two to think things over and return to my home country, to be with my family in this time, attend the funeral, and then I get back to work. And I return to the pitch where I grew up as a kid. That's where I like to go when I like to reminisce things. And I heard a voice tell me, go play and go win it for me. I thought it was just coming from my head or potentially someone behind me. And I looked around and there was no one there. I could only tell that it was a sign from my mother that I needed to go out and win this thing. So that's exactly our plan. And that's exactly what we're setting out to do. On my own, but I don't know why you hit the road, but you don't realize I'm on the back when you're around. I won't think twice when you're gone. Don't hesitate to call me. Now, as the season closes today, there's a lot of stress and pressure under myself, but there's nothing that I haven't had to deal with before going on today. I've lived a crazy life. I've lived one of many ups and many, many downs. And this is just another one of those that we have to overcome today. Few games remaining in the La Liga season. And this is a game that we win and we win La Liga. If we lose, we don't. And Atletico Madrid takes it. Both teams have yet to lose a game. Yes, you heard that right. Let me say it again. Atletico Madrid is atop the table without losing a game. We are in second place without losing a game. We just have one more draw than Atletico Madrid. We are two points off the top. If we win today and win the remaining games, which are against two clubs bottom of the table, we have stolen the La Liga title out from beneath Atletico Madrid's feet in the final few games of the season. So let's go on and do it today. We won the Copa del Rey in the last episode, securing that first trophy of the season. Today, in this episode, it's time to continue that invincible streak. And it's time to win the treble, doing it without losing a single game. Let's go, boys. Let's get into the action. The first chance falls to Ruiz. And so with the second. God, that spin move was absolutely disgusting. Oh my God, the defender had no idea what just hit him right there. And that could be the goal that wins us this La Liga title. It's 1-0 just like that. We take a huge lead over our rivals in this Madrid derby that will go down as one of the biggest games of all time in La Liga. And Atletico Madrid are going to equalize straight away. 44th minute right before the end of the half. 
It's the Argentinian, it's Martinez. This is one of the best career mode players in FIFA 20. And at this stage of our career mode in the year 2000, in 28, my dude has to at least be 94 overall. Martinez is the real deal. If there's anyone that's going to beat us in this game, it's going to be him. What a header. Unfortunately, Courtois was unable to come up with that save. But there's time left, boys. Halftime has hit. And this second half is going to be one for the ages. Who will come out on top? We can't afford a draw. We need a win right here. And if we don't get this win, Atletico Madrid are going to go on to win the title. We play on. Into the second half we go. 48th into the 49th, 50th minute. There it is, boys. It is the go-ahead goal. And it comes courtesy of Alexis, our central attacking midfielder. This man has been on a mission for us this season. He's been one of my favorite teammates. And he puts the ball in, boys. 2-1. Real Madrid go up in front. Could that be the goal that wins us the La Liga title? It just might be. Look at this pass, boys. We pick up the assist. And if we could just score one more, one more goal would be all we need to put this thing away and secure the dub. Would we be able to get it, boys? The next chance would fall to Real Madrid, and the rest is history. cheeky celebration just to rub it into those Atletico Madrid fans out there that should seal the deal and give us the win which would mean all we have to do is win our next two La Liga games which like I said are against teams bottom of the table that will be the goal that wins us the title it's over it's all over right here in Madrid this Atletico not Atletico Madrid derby goes in favor of the good guys, Real Madrid, or bad guys, depending on who you support. And that leaves two games left. Two games for the season, two games for the trophy, for us to stay invincible, to keep this streak alive, and potentially for us to win the treble if we could go on and win the Champions League. And let's just say these next two games would be easy. We'd win the first, and in the second, playing a game at home, we would have a chance to raise the trophy. Not one goal, not two goals, not even three goals. Four goals would be what we would grab in this one, including a free kick banger to start things off. And that would do it. That would do it, boys. Real Madrid have won La Liga. Oh my God. The invincible season has been complete. We finished the year winning every game and drawing four. Wow. You could not write a script like this. Perhaps the greatest La Liga team ever assembled. And forget about that. If we win the Champions League in the next game, this may not just be the greatest La Liga team ever assembled, but perhaps the greatest football team ever assembled of all time. And it's time to do it, boys. The second trophy of the year. Rafael Ruiz raised this thing high. Madrid is celebrating tonight. They are on top of La Liga yet again. And now there's one trophy left. One game remains. Real Madrid, Liverpool for the title. And it's all coming up right now. And we may have found out this disappointing news about our family, about our mother earlier. But in the last episode... We heard some phenomenal news. My girlfriend is pregnant and I'm having another child. And the doctor told us this time it's going to be a girl. We already know about my current son who's playing with the Real Madrid Youth Academy. Well, he's going to have a sister and I'm going to be a father yet again. It's an incredible news to hear. And of course, I have to name her after my mother. It's only right. And it's only fair. And with that great news, it's time to go and roll it straight in to the Champions League final. The night before, I visited a former Real Madrid legend, my agent, Cristiano Ronaldo. He invited me over to his place and he talked me through some of his past and the struggles that he's gone through and how he was able to overcome them. And it might just be the spark I need to go on and beat Liverpool 
in this Champions League final. Boy, am I excited to do this. This is unlike anything Ronaldo's ever been in, and that's exactly what he told me. He told me about all the great teams he's played with and how they were never able to accomplish what we can accomplish tonight or tomorrow when the Champions League final begins. It's time to get into it. Real Madrid against Liverpool. Let's go. Let's do this. We've been here before. We've won the Champions League. The amount of trophies we've won in our career, honestly, you can't count it on two hands. We have done it all. We've won the Champions League. We've been on this stage. It's nothing new. So let's go on and do it again. Liverpool, oh God. Does anything even need to be said about this club? One of the best in the world. Yes, it is 2028, but they've remained elite. They have remained one of the best Premier League teams, one of the best teams in Europe and the world. And it's time to take them down today. I've heard enough of Liverpool. I'm done. I'm over them. And I have a chip on my shoulder during this game. I want to be the best of all time. I don't want to be talked about as, oh, who's better? Rafael Ruiz, Pele, Maradona, Ronaldo, Messi. No. I want this to be unanimous. I want people to not even bat an eye. When they ask who they think the best footballer is of all time, I want them to say one name, Rafael Ruiz. So let's prove it to him. And let's go out there and not just win this game. Let's destroy Liverpool and make this one of the greatest seasons ever in football history. Here we go, boys. Starting things off. We already are on the attack. 15th minute. Allison with an incredible save. We move forward. Liverpool. They got a runner far post. It's Bergwin. The Dutchman makes it 1-0 for Liverpool. 40th minutes, not the start we were looking for. He goes to celebrate unfront right there of all the Liverpool faithful. That's not good. That's not the start we were looking for. We got time. We just got to remain cool. We got to remain calm. We got to remain composed. And I got to be the player that I've been all season. Unselfish, but also take those daring attempts when they come at me. I need to be the leader of this team. So let's see if we can continue. And we can keep doing what we've been doing all season long. Zidane's upset. But we're going to hopefully make that frown turn upside down in just a few minutes. We get some time to regroup during the halftime break. Remember, this is a final. If we end up drawing, we're going to extra time. We're going to the PK shootout. We don't want it to happen, but we're prepared if it needs to happen. 56 minute Ruiz plays it in. Gabriel Jesus back into Ruiz. It is one wall, boys. 57th minute game on. We are back in this thing. We are back ready to win it. The one, two, the Brazilian to the Portuguese men. One, one boys, Liverpool is now behind. We have the momentum. Liverpool not behind figuratively, but mentally right here. We are on the front foot. 61st minute to win the game, Ruiz. Just pass the ball inside. He does, and it's Jesus. 62nd minute. Is this the game winning goal? It just might very well be. What a strike it was. With this head wide open, we get the assist, and there it is, boys. Real Madrid up in front, just like that. All it took was a little bit of effort and momentum, and we've done it. I thought I'd lost the ball right here. I regain it. The defender falls. It is Jesus. He's unmarked. Real Madrid in front. And that could be what will be helping us lift this trophy come the end of these 90 minutes. Unless Liverpool would have something else to say. And boys, they wouldn't. That would do it. The treble has been complete. The dream season. The invincible season in every competition. Something that I don't think has ever been done in football history has been done today. And Rafael Ruiz was the man that led the troops. So, for the third time this season, let's lift this trophy that gives us the travel boys. And honestly, at this point, what else do we need to accomplish in our career? We've done it all. Ruiz, raise it high, raise it loud, and raise it proud. The winner of the treble. Ruiz, the greatest of all time.
And after the game and celebration, there was no better sight than this. Leaving the stadium to see who else but my family waiting to give me a massive hug and to say their congratulations. My father, my girlfriend, and my son were all there to congratulate me. And what a moment this was. To do this after all the controversy, not just that happened this episode, but throughout my entire career. And... I had to break it to them. I had to tell them what was on my mind about how this could be my last game ever. It's sad to say, after all I've done in my career, I'm thinking about ending it all. Is this it? Is this the last game I'll ever play? They told me they support me no matter what, and the decision would ultimately come down to whatever I was thinking. That's how it's gonna be. But instead of Ruiz, it's gonna be you. Is this how we end his career? Is it all over? Is this truly the end? Guys, top right hand corner in the like button. 10,000 likes, we continue the career. If not, say your goodbyes. This could be the end of Rafael Ruiz. Peace boys.